Yori Yori does it. Yes! This top 10 list of PlayStation only titles. Um, so, games like um, Metal Gear Solid uh, or the, you know, the, I'm not a fan of it, uh, the Persona series <laughs> or games like Yakuza which is made by Sega and Persona is also Atlas and Metal Gear is also Konami even though they're exclusive um, they cannot be on this list because they're, they weren't made by Sony specifically they weren't made by uh, Team Ico or um, uh, Japan Studio or uh, <clears throat> um, the Naughty Dog creators or Santa Monica so this is specifically um, uh, it's only the Sony uh, created type of um, game so let's start um, number 10 Woo! Um, Ape Escape okay uh, <laughs> I'm a little bit sad that we don't have this anymore in the modern uh, PlayStation. We don't specifically. We don't even have this in the in the Vita. We don't have this in the PS3. I think there was a there was a PS3 version, but it was only in. Oh, well, there was, but it was such a mediocre game, probably. Um, but yeah, so we don't have it in the PS4 anymore. So I'm I'm so I'm sad that for such a great quality um Japanese game. This is this guy's a Sony mascot. He's the he's the main Sony mascot. Um, it's very fun. I remember playing this back in the day. Huh? <laughs> Get this the 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 the, uh, the dual analog stick. It was it was a uh, big first time. Even though it is a copy of the N sixty four controller. <laughs> but yeah, Ape Escape is a lot of fun. Better. This is the best platformer on PlayStation. Not not those ratchet and ratchet and crap. <laughs> those Jack and Daxters, those you know, tr trash bandicoot, Spyro, oh, so what whatever, so whatever games. <laughs> Ape Escape. And next number nine. This game. This game is pretty much dead already. It's 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 not getting enough support. Nobody talks about it. Nobody cares about it. A sequel flopped big time. The servers is shutting down within a few months, and this is Gravity Rush remastered. Um, I haven't um, played part two yet. I haven't played part two yet, but um, Gravity Rush this is a very creative title. It, it this is like a Nintendo game. Ten, Nintendo should buy this. <laughs> uh, it is a shame we did notice. It was remastered by Blue Blue Point, so yeah, Blue Blue Point Blue Point is the one that did the remaster for the the Shadow of Colossus remake. So anyway, such a creative title, you know, you can like move the world, <laughs> and it's just a shame that um, this is this is a true PlayStation title. This is a true quality PlayStation game, and it's just a shame that um. Nobody cares about it anymore. So it's a shame. Such a such such a fun mini open world typeish game. Um, heavy on action also. Combat is really good. Story is impressive. <laughs> Nothing special, but it's impressive. <coughs> it's a shame that um, I really hate the I really hate these modern Sony gamers today. Um, they only care about you know Call of Duty. And I know what the hell are destiny, and those you're always hyped for those uh, walking simulators, those 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 Uncharted, those Horizon, those Last of Us, those David Cage games that you only press one button. <laughs> those those walking simulators, they're nothing. They're come on, all you do is walk. The order, get get out of here, man. It's it's, it's insane that. I don't think that um, even the Last Guardian is dead already. Uh, Last Guardian wasn't wasn't that good, but it's 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 a dead franchise already. Team Team Michaels is dis disbanded already. They're gonna go multi plat. Um, it's, it's it's a shame that um, you don't get you have 
this creative you know, Japan studio type of game anymore. I don't think we'll ever have something like this anymore. Because everybody prefers the movie type of game. You know, the so-called triple A. Those those guys are not triple A. This is a triple A game. Number nine. Number, uh, I'm just want this one is another dead franchise already. Number eight. This is Siren. This is uh, I got this from a uh, a fan. A fan gave it to me and. It's a horror game. It's an old PS2 title. This is the remake version. Um, this is the Region 3 version. This is Hong, Hong Kong. Hong Kong. English, Chinese. Yeah, yeah it's awesome. <laughs> I'm gonna show it to y'all. This is, this is a unique title. <laughs> it is awesome. <laughs> you can have that just this manual. Oh, there's a lot more. There's even something inside here. Sorry. I don't think that they sell this in eBay. They sell the the uh, they sell the Great Assist version, the Region Two version, if I do believe I'm correct. Ooh, there's even an inside artwork. I haven't noticed this, but it's, it's here we go. It's it's, the, it's a Japanese house. Old styles, the windows. Yeah, um, Siren is an old PS2 game. Uh, it's very scary. It's very realistic, very scary. And you control um, different um, people. And you, 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 um, you, do, you do various tasks for them. So you got a sidekick, you got your uh, Japanese team, the team girl. You got the Yakuza. The one that uses the gun is uh, then you have um, uh, you can view their uh, yeah I can't remember that word but uh, they have another um, perspective so you can shift the um, if I remember correctly um, you can see what the enemy sees if I remember correctly it's just right here but uh, yeah it is a, uh, such a unique title and very realistic. You're lucky if you can find this. You're very lucky because this is a good title. It's a good horror game. Um, you, you won't have any titles like this anymore, guaranteed. Um, the PlayStation that you guys remember is, is not the PlayStation today. Sony, um, what a good title. So I'm. That's why I'm glad that um, Fatal Frame is in Nintendo because Fatal Frame is alive on Nintendo. Fatal Frame is a great franchise. It's a really good one. This is a really good horror game and controls is a little bit clunky I think that's why nobody cared about it and yeah. please release this please release this on the PlayStation 4 I hope I hope they really do because graphics are really good this is some triple A this is really the real triple A <laughs> and it's a shame that even games like Silent Hill is gone already uh, Resident Evil is a shooter. Even Resident Evil Seven is a shooter, also. So long as you have, so long as you have uh, the main focus is, is a gun. I don't even you won't. Eat, I don't consider it as a horror game anymore, but a shooter. Yeah, Silent Hill. Um, is, it plays like one of those um, teen Japanese um horror movies. It's really really good. Really, good. it's a classic. It's a classic game. It's number eight. <laughs> number seven. Uh, everybody knows this. So this is God of War 1. Um, uh, the reason why I picked the first one because of um, the the lore of it. The, there was this part where he, he was climbing. I don't know if that was Kronos. I can't remember. He was climbing the Titan. <laughs> that was really cool. For three days, Kratos was climbing. <laughs> Remember that, that yeah, God of War One was uh, you know a very it's not original it's just a copy of Devil May Cry but it's a lot better than the DMC one. Uh, very fun, uh, heavy on combat. Um, got the new God of War is trash. It's a horrible game. It's a walking simulator. But yeah, this one had a very good uh, lore. Um, uh, some people say that two is better, which is I presume that 
yes, uh, God of War 2 is better, but um, this is more of like you know, a classic already. Some this is something that um it's something uh, there's something um you know raw with this you know there's uh, he has a certain edge to it. That's that's why this is a lot better than um, the other God of War titles. <clears throat> it was it was fresh for its time. Uh, it's not the best action game. It's, Bayonet is the best action game. Ninja Guide is a lot better than this also. Yeah, it's <laughs> a lot of war. Number, where are we? Number, um, number six. Number six. Uh, Shadow of the Colossus. Or Wonder of the Colossus. If it's a single, it's a Colossi. <laughs> so I got the Japanese version. I, um, I have the PS2, but I, uh, the PS2 version. So I played the, I finished the PS2 version, but I just bought this for collection purposes only. Uh, let's just show it inside. <laughs> it's cool. Or right, else, let's see that. Wonder of the Colossus. And I also have the um, the the HD um, remaster of it. Uh, also, Blue Point. Uh, crazy graphics. Um, what can I say about the Shadow uh, Colossus? Uh, it is such a um, artistic, unique, and creative game. Very hardcore. Very hardcore. You're lucky if you're if you're just about to start it on the PlayStation Four. If you never played the PS or the PS3 version, you're lucky. I played the PS2 version when I was uh, in fourth year high school. Um, played a ton of that. I think I've played it um, three or no no twice. I finished it twice uh, on the PS2 version. This one is just for display purposes only. <laughs> I haven't really played this. I have the English version also. It's, it's, it's there with, with Aiko. Mm. Um, it's very, you know, you can even say that that this is the greatest PlayStation game ever created. You can say that. Yes, it is also true. You can say that this is the best uh, because it's such different. It's so different. This is the Legend of Zelda of PlayStation. It's such, you know, um, epic. It's just an epic journey. A simple story. Um, save your princess. <laughs> That's the story, the basic story. Kill. It's, it's, it's the usual Hercules style. It's, Wonder is like Hercules. Um, you see, slay a bunch of titans. Here's uh, here's giant beasts, colossus, colossi. And it's such a basic um, story that um, you don't actually care for the story. You just you just want to um, you know finish it down. You just want to progress to the game and wonder what's gonna happen next. <laughs> the vast land. Uh, I remember back in the PS2 days. But the, at the time, um, the blooming effect was so way ahead of its time. This game, the PS2 version, especially the PS2 version, was way ahead of its time. Um, it boosts the, the 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 amount of the capability of the PS2. So there was a lot of tweaking in there. Yeah, I remember that. Um, I know for a fact that the if you go near to a to the castle, uh, it's in. It's if you go if you look far from it, it's a two D two D two D castle. When you go in your desktop, it becomes three D. So there was a lot of um, uh, tweaking to it in order to make such such a vast uh, land game. And it's also very simple because there's actually no enemies here. It's no NPCs. It's just you and the Titans and the dead girl and the horse. That's about it. <laughs> but you're still gonna wonder, uh, wonder. <laughs> you still want to wonder the vast wasteland of the game. Uh, definitely an awesome title. Um, I think every every website would say that this is the the best PlayStation game. <laughs> Sadly, uh, the remake is just pretty much a re literal remake. <laughs> I wish they added more Colossi. It's a very short game. Um, I wish they added more. I wish they made it a lot more difficult. So. For veterans already, it's, this game is very easy. Um, I wish they added more. I want more content. Um, the original Panos make around 46 colossi. That's what, 
if I remember correctly, you need, you'll need to check it out. Um, that's the original plan was to make 46, but they could not sync all of that together. So, oh man, put in a DLC, free DLC. Put in a bunch of Colossi already. There was supposed to be a Phoenix <laughs> Colossi. It's insane. <laughs> Number five. Number five. Ooh. <laughs> Folklore. Again, another um, dead franchise from Sony and no one bought it. I, I really, this is the problem with, um, with, with Sony. This is a problem with Sony set on. I showed the manual. Problem with Sony is that if the game doesn't sell, they will kill the, the, the developer for it. So, this, this team is already disbanded. I can't even remember their name. <laughs> it's a Japanese team. So folklore is a um, action. Is a action RPG. Really good. It has a collections. It has a um, collection system. You you gather your, uh, your your creatures. You collect all. You collect them. It's like a Megami game. And you use them for battle. It's really fun. Very strategic. Um, the graphics is gloomy. Very beautiful game and. Uh, there's two characters, you can choose whatever you want. So, um, the creature design is impressive, very impressive. Hardcore gameplay is a bit difficult. This is uh, another, this, this is this is like Gravity Rush. It's, it's dead. <laughs> it's, uh, and even if you, even if it sells now, you can't do anything because the team is disbanded already. Um, waste of potential from Greatest awaits get out from here. It's a lie. Impressive title. Impressive title. Folklore. It's a cheap, cheap game. Just buy it. Twenty dollar. Number four. This is my favorite um, PlayStation One game. Uh, Robbie Mine. No, no. <laughs> second. It's my second favorite. Uh, Omega was created by. Uh, this, 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 uh, this, this. People are still alive. <laughs> Uh, not necessarily all alive, but they still make they still make games. Uh, created by Polyphony Digital and Team Andromeda. Team Andromeda is the creator of the Panzer Dragoon games, so they're all scattered already. Uh, they made Crimson Dragon late. Uh, that's their latest game from the Xbox. But I I know they're still they're still around. I know for a fact. Microsoft probably planning to uh, make make more games for them. But Team Andromeda, uh, Polyphony Digital. Um, you also created the Panzer Dragoon game, so they're really good. Omega Boost is technically uh, Macross, and it plays like Zone of Enders. So you can, um, Zone of Enders copied this game. You got the um, the Scud missiles, like the ones in Macross or Robotech, where you, it locks onto an enemy. The scattered, scattered missiles locks onto an enemy, and everything is gonna explode. <laughs> So it's it's very uh, hardcore. This is a hardcore PlayStation game. Very difficulty. There's a, a certain skill that you need to master here. You, you like it's a straightforward like Star Fox game, but it's very very difficult. Very difficult. Uh, you need to maneuver with a lot of obstacles on this on space on the galaxy. You got asteroids. You got mechs attacking you. You got um, a bunch of walls um, moving around you. And it's the same, but it's a lot of fun. <laughs> And can't believe that it was created also by the Gran Turismo team. It's, it's insane. And you see that? <laughs> From the creators of Gran Turismo. <laughs> what a great title. Uh, ooh, I just realized. I hope that um, the, the Blue Point developers uh, could remaster this. This one, this would be awesome. This would be so awesome. Dope. <laughs> Number three. Ico should be my number one. <laughs> uh, number three, Ico. Um, this game was in the, back in the I'm gonna say the PS2 era. I have I, this is again for display only, for display purposes only. So I played the PS2 version. Um, and this is the US. <laughs> There's 
awesome, right? Awesome cover. <laughs> you guys remember the Fiesta version, the American version, had a very terrible cover. <laughs> the Japanese one was really cool. So I go, it's a puzzle game, and then you go, you go through a lot of um, obstacles and a lot of, um, you know, there's a lot of mechanics to it, but like the you drag, you, this is the girl here, the lady in white, or you just um, trying to save her from evil shadow creatures that are trying to attack you. While doing that, there's a lot of um, a lot of puzzles, puzzle element around you, a lot of um, uh, how should I say, complex, um, you know, complex. Um, <laughs> Sorry for me to say it. You do a lot of puzzle stuff on the uh, castle. In the castle, and you, you open them, you, you keep on opening them. It's a little bit like the Souls game. So, as you open them, it connects to one big giant castle. <laughs> Sorry for me explain that. <laughs> but yeah, so you, as you, as you open all of the doors and the, the mechanics, the, the gates, you unlock everything just to, um, just to keep the girl around you. You know, as you do that, you're fighting shadow creatures, and such it is such a experience. And another um, artistic title from Sony. This is this is their Legend of Zelda games. <laughs> the, the the Japan studio developers very creative. Uh, it's a shame that the Last Guardian is total trash. It's a shame. Yeah, I prefer this over Shadow of Colossus. This is this is a journey. <laughs> this is a very this is a very um, you know it is an impossible task like Shadow of Colossus, an impossible task of journey. Very good game. And it also has you know the effect of um, if you have not just play it. <laughs> number two, number two. Um, I lost my copy. I think I left it back in the I left it back in the Philippines. So number two is I just have a picture over the phone. And I wish I had I wish I had this copy. It's Legend of Dragoon. What an impressive title. This is my number two. What an, what what an impressive title. Leg, Legend of Dragoon just like and It's better than Final Fantasy, Legend of Dragoon. It's it is a, a very you know it's just such a fun RPG. The combat system, the story, the lore. What a what a, what a perfect game. Um, nobody bought it. It flopped it flopped big time. I remember that um played it on the PS1. I uh, played it also on the PSP. I got it downloaded on on my PSP. What a fun game! What a what a fun game! Um, I I actually um, I haven't played it at the at the PS One time because I already had the PS Two then, so I was looking for a bunch of you know uh, quality RPGs and then I stumbled upon Legend of the Rune because it's it um, it's it says that um, I I heard from it before also that. It's a lot better than than Final Fantasy, which is true. Legend of Dragon is a lot it's, it's, it's a lot better than any um, RPG on PlayStation. You can say that this is the best PlayStation RPG. No, it's not even that. It is already in the top five probably for the best um, JRPG. Combat story, everything in everything in Legend of Dragon is perfect. If, if you just like quality. Quality or JRPG games, just and if you're a PlayStation hardcore PlayStation gamer, you gotta play this. Um, it's cheap. It's not expensive. It's very cheap. Graphics is all very good. Very nice graphics. Um, you can play it. Um, even today, even today, uh, it has the uh, FF um, nine nine style of graphics, the Chrono Cross style of graphics. So um, it's very it's very good. Um, it's very. Uh, it doesn't look old. It looks like a classic or a Legend of Dragon. Very, very good RPG game. And got number one. 
Uh, Demon Souls. No, not Bloodborne. I hate Bloodborne. <laughs> not, I hate. But Demon Souls is better, better than Dark Souls. Better than Bloodborne. Uh, three hundred and twenty plus hours. I put in three hundred twenty plus hours on this game. This is the English Chinese version. It's different. It's got the Japanese cover. It's a lot more expensive than the US version. It's region three. This is a hardcore game. This is also a this is the do or die game. This was supposed to be the last from software game and this game resurrected from software <laughs> from the rave. Uh, it is a um, sequel to Kingsfield or a um, I don't know how, what's the what's the term of it. It's the um is there uh, probably the I can say that it is the the Kingsfield lore is implemented in Demon Souls and Kingsfield is a from software game it's a first person view um, RPG game it's like Elder, Elder Scrolls I know I can guarantee that the, the um, Elder Scrolls copied the Kingsfield games it's a fact because Kingsfield was first um, before the and then after a year they released uh, Elder Scrolls Bethesda, but Elder Scrolls became a lot more popular. But this, anyway, um, Kingsfield Souls are different. <laughs> this is a different other story. Um, Demon Souls is very um, hardcore, um, deep, deep combat. Um, very fun for me. <laughs> uh, this is a very fun game for for me. Three hundred hours, man. <laughs> And uh, the online BVPs was also very fun. What a, what a, what a perfect game! You know, this it started the the modern um, hardcore action genre RPG. And now at a lot of gamers, a lot of games are like this right now: with Code Vein and the Surge. <laughs> a lot of um, games are copying the style. So right now, I'm tired of the style actually. Uh, I don't want to play another Souls type game. I'm tired of I'm tired of before it was okay on this era. But right now I'm just tired of turning around the enemy and then waiting for them to like, you know, um, to, to open up their 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 def defense and then this time I'm gonna attack them. So that's just a basic gameplay for it. So you all just turn around the enemy. <laughs> so I, right now I just don't want, I don't want to play any Souls type game anymore. But yeah. Um, Demon Souls at the time was very unique. Uh, it became popular because of uh, word of mouth. <laughs> um, the the lore is deep, also a uh, very good story. But what's what's interesting about the game is the the build up, the PV the PVT, the PVP style, and of course the boss battle, hardcore high high difficulty game. Uh, plays a lot like the. 16-bit era of uh, hardcore video games, very very difficult, and uh, it is the best PlayStation game ever created. Aki Hikumar here, with a quick announcement. This will be my first mega giveaway. All you need to do is subscribe to my channel, and once we reach a goal of 100,000 subscribers, one lucky winner out of the 100,000 subscribers will get a chance to win a Nintendo Switch and Zelda, ARMS, and Splatoon 2. So please click that subscribe button and get a chance to win all these awesome prizes.